Is it possible to forecast home sales in the U.S. housing market with just a search on Google? I had this thought as I was re-examining the search engine optimization efforts that we employ to help us do a great job selling the homes we've been hired to market and sell. We analyze and track the most common keywords that home buyers type into a Google search bar when searching for properties and homes for sale. But could we use this data to forecast the demand for homes in 2023? Surprisingly, the current search behaviors of home buyers online do provide insight into how strong we should expect the housing market to emerge in 2023. After all, a search on Google is merely a question from a Google visitor seeking an answer. If more people are asking about housing, we might conclude that there's more interest in housing. The opposite is true as well. Today's video provides the housing market insight you cannot find elsewhere as it's purely derived from the questions that people are asking Google. Let's start the discussion by explaining what is a real estate keyword, or even simpler, what is a keyword? A keyword is a word or phrase that describes the nature or topic of the content on a website or in a specific article. When you hear the term keyword, you might be tempted to think of a specific singular word, but that's rarely the case. Keywords are typically phrases containing more than one word. So each of the following is a keyword for the Tallahassee real estate blog. Tallahassee, real estate, blog, Tallahassee real estate, Tallahassee real estate blog, articles about real estate, housing market conditions. Of course, there are many more, but they all relate to the central theme of Tallahassee real estate. Keywords are an important study because of the words that consumers type into Google to find out what they're seeking. So every industry has specific golden keywords that many consumers use on Google. It takes a lot of time and money to continually rank highest for the keywords buyers will use to find homes for sale, but it's as important today as open houses were back in the 1980s. Generally speaking, the majority of buyers for your home are searching online not by driving neighborhoods. So your real estate listing agent needs to master search engine optimization for you to get the best service available when selling your home. This is important to understand if you're a home seller and you're looking for the best local agent to market your home. You'll want to know the top few agents who have used SEO optimization to ensure their websites will draw the most buyers to the homes they have been hired to sell. Today, we're conducting our keyword research to see if we can discover trends that will guide us in our 2023 housing market forecast. I spent a few hours using a handful of great tools for examining keyword popularity so that I could evaluate keyword trends. Fortunately, Google offers a tool called Google Trends that allows you to submit keywords to discover how they have risen and fallen in popularity over time. Here are the keywords used in today's video. Real estate, real estate market, housing market, realtor, real estate agent, real estate brokerage, homes for sale, and houses for sale. If you're a longtime subscriber, then you know I pursue numerous sources of information that can help explain housing market conditions because I want our viewers to be as well prepared as possible during their next move. If you're not a subscriber, please click the thumbs up like button and subscribe now so that you get all my new content when it is fresh. If you really want to know what's going on in housing, to see and hear the data explained, to evaluate the facts, and ignore the hype porn that is so prevalent online, then subscribe now and I'll keep you in the know. This graph measures the one-year average of the popularity of these eight real estate keywords. It's important to note that these are U.S. keywords, so we've not narrowed the scope to a local market like you would want to do if searching for a listing agent to help you sell your specific home. The first observation you might discover is that two of the eight keywords have been highlighted in the graph with solid large lines for each, homes for sale and houses for sale. Of all the eight keywords shown in the graph, these two are the heaviest used by buyers that want to see the current listings of homes available. Each keyword peaked in 2021, and both have been falling since, just about six months before the housing market responded in kind. Most interesting, though, is that both terms have been utilized more frequently than they were right before the pandemic hit. Does this mean that demand remains very close or even higher than pre-pandemic levels? I believe it does, though I'll be curious to see what these trend lines look like in another six months and again in a year. 
Home buyers using keywords like homes for sale and houses for sale are typically six to nine months away from making a decision. Clearly, people still are interested in what's for sale in the housing market. Home buyers who have been doing their due diligence are much closer to making a purchase decision, no longer use these two terms as they have become comfortable with their favorite local property search tool. They are receiving listings via saved searches and no longer need to discover where to find the most up-to-date list of homes for sale. A final observation from the graph is that all but one keyword is performing much stronger than pre-pandemic levels, so there is plenty of evidence of strong demand for homes in 2023. But does this mean we should forecast a strong year for U.S. home sales? A study of the popular keywords used by home buyers does provide great insight into the demand side of the U.S. housing market, but it takes more than desire to get home sales back on track. There also needs to be homes available. No study of home buyer keyword usage will guide us on the supply side of the housing market. The U.S. is short about 5.5 million homes, and home builders have been underproducing since the housing bubble burst 15 years ago. Now don't get me wrong, builders want to build and sell more homes, but soaring costs and higher mortgage interest rates have left builders requiring conservative outlooks. An accurate 2023 housing market forecast depends upon builder production and mortgage interest rates. As I record this video on January 16th, the Mortgage News Daily website reports that today's mortgage rates have come down more than 1% but are still 67% higher than the one year ago rate. It's not that mortgage interest rates are high, today's rate is about 20% lower than the 50-year average rate. Today's rates are relatively high, meaning the buyers in the market have been neutered with a far higher cost of money than what was available when they first started shopping for homes. Today's rates are fine if they will stabilize and not move much higher, but what is not fine is the higher cost of homes. Both new and existing homes have appreciated at unhealthy levels for the past few years, which all relates back to this lack of builder production. We need more homes. We must fill the void and commit to building the correct number of homes our growing population needs yearly to avoid skyrocketing home prices. If you want to see a video featuring my nine tips for buying a home in a highly competitive market, you can view it by clicking on the box in the top left corner of your screen. To see a popular video featuring my top six home selling tips, just click on the box below it. Please remember to like this video, check out the links below it, and subscribe to our channel so that you never miss anything.